Hello friends, welcome back to another episode where we will build up some application from scratch as a full stack application we are going to build using CAPM or Cloud Application Program Model with the Node.js as a flavor. Finally, we will deploy this application to SAP BTP in a trial instance and there I will be using HANA Cloud as a database. Similar kind of a discussion I already created last year and since then many improvement happens with the deployment as well as SAP introduced a lot of different new features let's say side effects or maybe different actions uh, functions etc so we'll try to cover those kind of a, a topic as much as uh, possible in this video but don't expect everything i will cover in this one video because that way the video will be too much lengthy so i'll split it up into two in the first episode i'll cover up building up this kind of a fury application and in the next episode i'll cover more on the deployment activities with the app router a lot of you know different authentication etc so I hope you'll enjoy these uh, discussions. So before we start, who are coming to my channel for the first time, let's do subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon as it will intimate you the next time I upload a new content like this. So let's get started with understanding what we're going to build it up in this episode first. So this is an application called Animal Adoption Application where it shows the list of animals which are available for adoption as in the adoption status with certain health and the bridge information you can see there are two different variants one is kind of an all animals and the second one is the pending ones pending means whichever you are just applying for adoption uh, it will sit to the pending status we'll see shortly that how this application works and that will be available in this particular ne next app so let's do some action so this is the adopt kind of a button that is applicable for this particular context if I click on this button, it gives a prompt where I can add certain information. And if I want to change some details, I can put a change. And that time I have to mention this thing as uh, yes, that I want to change it. And finally, click on adopt. The moment I click on adopt, the status gets changed into a pending. And also, the adopt button is no more visible. And that's been controlled using the Fury annotations that will get to know how to do that. And this painting is changed by the use of side effects that we will also learn in this episode. Now, if I go to the painting tab and I click on the go, I will see the one that I just applied for the adoption. Isn't it interesting? By the way, there are two different roles that will be playing eventually. The role I'm cur currently have logged in is an adopter role. And there will be one more role who will be just, you know, uh, uh, requesting uh, this adoption. They will be approving it by upper validation. So that time what will happen. Uh, this available status currently which is showing as in pending and that available status will set to adopt it so you can see the details in the detail page like what are the animal information the status and here is the adopted details uh, and i just changed the address with the hyphen one and it's also it's reflected so a lot of different uh, crude operations or you know custom handler that will also build it up in this application so hope it will be enjoying for you so let's get started finally with the development in vs code so this is an empty project called Animal Adopt. And to start with our application development, I'll use the CLI using CDS in it. And it will create the scaffolding uh, for my application. And everything is empty. And uh, we can start with the DB folder to create, first of all, the schema or the data modeling. For that, you can use the touch command and you can say db schema.cds. So let's create our schema. And this is what the data models that I have created. As you can see, I have one entity for the animals having different elements or properties. Where I have added display name as a calculated one, which can use, you can use this kind of feature to concatenate you know, two values over here, the name and the uh, uh, species. Okay. Other than that, I have also the health status as a kind of a drop down. I can use later so i have used the health status as a, also a code list side by side the adoption status and kind of a painting or approved etc and also the adopter who is actually adopting this uh, animal so obviously all coming as an association i have used so let's go to the adopter uh, entity here i have put the name email phone and address and also i have used one virtual uh, element called update having type boolean uh, but side by side, I would like to add certain validation using this kind of an annotation called assert.format. 
adding certain email uh, regex to validate the email id is following certain format or not and also the phone number is with a simple regex just to limit down the number of the phone should be of 10 digits and that's all okay now one more uh, entity we have and that is called adoption applications means when an adopter will uh, adopt that particular animal it will create one entry over here like which animal and the adopted details and also the application date and certain application summary okay that will be uh, captured over here in this entity and finally uh, certain code list as you can see the health status the species and finally the adoption status pretty straightforward right so what will happen if you just want to see the data model now you can run this command series watch but it will complain that uh, by the way the first thing is error dl open failed that because we have to install certain dependencies that we have all mentioned over here in the package.json so let's stop this command and uh, start something called in game install uh, and just wait for some time it will install all the dependencies as mentioned over here the installation is done and now i can simply run called cds watch it says that now complaining that that no service definition found so let's create our, our service definition first even service called service for cds so this is my service definition i have added two service one is called adapter service and the other one is the admin service added or exposed rather the animals as well as adoption application uh, and i have just put one kind of a restriction i'll be rendering only the adoption applications which created by the logged in user also here in the admin service i didn't want to put a restriction like this but also one important point to note i just want to add a role to access adapter service and the role name is called adapter similar way for admin service the user should have a role called admin so let's run this service now and test quickly and see what happens with the command called cds watch so when so let's go this kind of interface comes now if i click on animals it goes something called as a forbidden and if i go our uh, vs code i can see it's complaining that user id doesn't have adapter okay as a role now to get this resolved and to test our application locally we'll make some quick change in our package.json we'll add something called cds require and add certain mock test user id with certain uh, initial passwords so here i have just added called cds required and there is a profile called development i have added my authentication kind as mocked and a few test user like user one added a name also um, and then for the roles and is have mentioned as adapter similarly one more user id does have the same role but for admin i have added a password and the role is of course admin is needed right. so let's save these changes also to test the application at certain local test data for that we can run some common called cds at data and it will create some csv files under a data folder and all the files is actually empty in terms of the data content but it has certain uh, column headers okay now what i'll do i'll use the chat gpt to create certain mock data for me and for that what is the approach simple copy this uh, schema series content okay copy this inter file content like this and go to your chat gpt so let's paste this content and with a simple prompt like create a csv file out of above data model as logical as possible and make sure all id fields should follow the uid pattern and the and the chat gpt is actually providing uh, the data as needed it's fantastic right all logical data is created so i just you know use the same data to create my uh test data content so let's do that now so i have filled all the data so let's once again paste our application with cds watch command and click on this animals then it's now prompts for the user id so let's user one um, and it will actually uh, show all the data that we have just filled in it's all generated by the chat jpd right all right so this is fine so let's what we'll do we'll next go for the fury front end now 